Hi, my name is John. Hi, my name is Sam. Hey guys, David here. Hi, I'm Carl. And today, we're gonna to show you how to design cars of the future. Now, before we get started, here are some of the supplies we'll be using. Four chairs, a pencil or a pen to draw with, and some sculpting clay or dough. Since cars were invented over a hundred years ago, most vehicles have stuck to the same formula. A gas engine in the front, seats facing forward, and a steering wheel and pedals to drive. But today, that is all changing. Batteries and electric motors mean we can rethink the way cars look, and thanks to computers, most vehicles will drive themselves. So, if we don't need a motor in the front, and we don't need to drive the car, what will the car of the future look like? To start, what if we change the way we sit inside? You can try this at home. Take a few chairs and imagine how you would want to sit in your dream car. Maybe you sit sideways. Maybe you line up single file. Think about how many people you want inside. Do you want a big car for a lot of people or a little car just for you? Have fun and let your imagination go wild. Take pictures of your favorite layouts so you can remember later on. For the car we're designing today, I think I'll do something like this. So everyone in the car gets to hang out and see each other. It's kind of like we're sitting around a campfire. When we're designing cars at work, we do the same thing. We make models of our ideas and we test them to see what works. Then we start to draw out sketches like these to see what those ideas might look like. But of course, we can't only think about the car from the inside. We also have to think about what those ideas look like on the outside. David will show you just how we do that. David? Thanks, John. Hey guys, David here. I'm an exterior designer. My job is to imagine what the car looks like on the outside. Generally speaking, when we think about cars, we think about shapes kind of like this. So this is what we would call a three box car, where the engine and all its components live the secondary box would be the middle of the car or where the cabin and the seats and the people are. And the third box would be the rear end of the car where the trunk is. A two box design would be something more like a crossover or an SUV. Which would be something like this. Where we have one box up front for the engine and its components and then one big box behind the first box where we have the occupants and we have the seats and we have even the hatch or the tailgate of the vehicle. So this is a three box and this is a two box. As John mentioned, one of the benefits of electrification and automation is that we start to be able to get rid of this front box where all the engine and all its components live and it gives us the flexibility to design things not around that. Let's try sketching something using the seating arrangement John showed us. I'm gonna start out with kind of a sketch that I use to really block in the overall proportions and dimensions of what I wanna draw. So starting out with a ground line there, then starting to kind of indicate my wheels. Then we can start drawing kind of the roof line and the overall proportion of the vehicle. Then lightly starting to sketch the overall design of the car. Lightly starting to indicate the wheels here. Simple little four spoke design. Then from this, once I have the light lines kind of blocked in there, just gonna come in with a kind of light gray marker and start to help define the overall color break of the vehicle. Give it a try. 
Think about how you want your car to look. You can try drawing things using the seating arrangements that me and John used here, or maybe try drawing a car with the seating arrangement that you came up with. When you're finished, pick your favorite one to build in 3D. In our studio, we try to design and sketch new ideas using new technologies like electric motors and self-driving capabilities to come up with new and fresh designs for the future. After we develop our ideas through sketching, we work with modelers like Sam and Carl to capture these ideas in 3D. Take it away, Sam. Thanks, David. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm a sculptor with GM. It's my job to help designers uh, realize their designs and bring them into real life as an actual car. So to begin, what exactly is a sculptor? Um, a sculptor is an artist that make uh, works of art uh, specifically 3D objects um, out of various materials like uh, metal, wood, or clay. Um, and in my case, we uh, use clay to uh, form uh, the shape of cars. And some of the tools that we like to use are uh, obviously clay like this. What's going to happen today is I'm going to show you how to do things with some of the materials that you might have at home to show you how to build the car of the future. We're gonna start this build using uh, the, our basic building block form. I built this uh, shape just like we would in the studio. We would use a, a buck of foam that we put clay on top of and sculpt from there. The whole body is mostly glass, so I'm basically gonna start off with the blue uh, clay and we're going to roll it out and then put it on top. Now that I've rolled it out, I'm going to cut out a rectangle to cover it in. So let's uh, wrap the car. I mean, it's just to get a basic shape on top and then we can Form it, you know, using our, our knife a little bit. You know, go back to your sketch and keep looking at it. You know, try to get it as close as you can. Now that I've formed uh, most of the body of the car, let's, uh, I see that the roof is orange, so I'm gonna use this orange clay and uh, let's roll out another sheet. And using my knife, I'm going to cut a rectangle. Let's put it on top. So let's build the fender areas above the wheels. And it looks like two, so we'll build uh, four of those. I'm gonna roll out another sheet of clay. And then using my knife, I think I'm going to try to make a, a trapezoid type shape. And I might cut out half circles for where the wheels go. I would typically ask a designer to see what the front looks like or the back. Uh, in most cases, I think there's probably a bumper there. So I'm gonna build two quick bumpers here. So here we have the final model. Um, at this point in the studio, we typically uh, pass off the model to a digital modeler. Um, we get a scan of the model and digital modeler at this point uh, translates it into 3D software. Hi everyone, it's me Carl. 
Like Sam, I'm also a creative sculptor, but I'm actually on the digital side of sculpting. And everything I do is done on a computer. I work by looking at sketches from designers and then build digital models using lines and surfaces to create the sketch in 3D digital space. This can really speed up the design process because I can quickly make changes and sometimes, depending on the software we're using, we can even make changes live and in virtual reality. For example, look how fast I can change the shape of the model once it's sculpted in the computer. I can even add detail like headlights and quickly see which design we like best. For you at home, if you want to add some detail, try adding shapes with paper, cardboard, or whatever you imagine to give your designs those finishing touches. So, how did your car turn out? We'd love to see your creative designs. If you'd like, post a picture of your design with the hashtag FutureCarDesigner so we can see fun ideas from all over the world. As you can see, it takes a lot of people to bring a car to life. But it all starts with one idea, one sketch, or one 3D model. So why not let that idea be yours? Dream big, have fun, and before long, who knows? We might be riding in a car designed by you.